Hey everybody, got another exciting episode for you guys today. Um, this time it's going to be about solar panel adjustment. Um, so this might apply to anything you're doing with a solar panel. If you're just charging a battery or if you're running power to something, um, you need to adjust your solar panel angle at least twice a year, if not every season. I'm here in San Diego and we get a lot of sun here and I adjust it four times a year just to be safe because my solar panel is charging a battery that charges my automatic coupe door and I do not want that to stay closed in the summer. It would be a disaster if I didn't wake up early enough one day or I was gone, the birds would probably die from the heat in the coop. So I'll be adjusting it. It was kind of cool, I set up a little Gmail um, calendars and I have all my notes of what angle do I need to change it to and I just set up an alert to happen quarterly. So it reminds me, hey, it's April 18th today, it's time to change it to the summer angle and then it says summer angle. Uh, I just It's really easy to set up, Everyone, almost everyone has a Gmail now. In the description I'll post my uh, notes about how to calculate your solar panel angle and that's just based on a couple formulas. Uh, using the latitude that you guys are at. I'm at latitude 32. So today, in order to change the angle, I have a uh, digital angle finder. And you just basically place this flat on the solar panel, and if you tilt it, it changes the angle. These are, it's are about 20 bucks. It's a really nice tool to have. It's really simple to use, and you can even zero it. So if you wanted to like do something off angle, do some weird cuts with wood or, or on metal, it's kind of a cool little feature. It even has a magnet on the bottom to stick to metal. So I'm gonna be using this, and then just change the bolts up there, and that adjusts the, the tilt of the angle. I got this solar panel from a guy off of eBay who, who designed and uh, sets up all the electrical circuits and the wiring and he ships it to you. All you got to do is install it uh, Create a door for the piston that moves up and down So unfortunately, I lost a ton of my footage during a certain period of time. I accidentally deleted it uh, So some of my videos are missing and one of them was how I built and constructed the solar panel and connected all the wiring and everything So I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly So of course my solar panels up there and there's a wire that I fed into the coop. Okay, and then that wire is connected to that solar control panel. And what that does, it connects the solar panel to the battery and controls the charging. So here's my automatic door. And it controls that piston. So that charger controller is connected to the battery and that little timer right there. And then I can set up a light sensor or I can set it up to be on a timer and it'll open and close when I tell it. And then here's how it closes. And you know, I just built this little track system right here. And it just goes up and down through that. So there's another system that they have where it's just, um, you can buy just a timer and it runs off batteries and it has a hanging string that you attach the string to a door and the timer pulls the string up and down. That's just another version of the system. All right, so it's pretty simple and that's how it works. The girls are going crazy in here today. I'm back up to like 12 to 14 eggs a day, so that's pretty awesome. And yeah, the door's doing great. Still works great almost a year and a half later. So it's a great option, not totally necessary for everybody, but if you have a certain situation where you think you'd want that, um, I highly recommend them. They're pretty darn reliable as long as you set up the solar panel correctly and all that. So I'm up here on a ladder on top of the coop. It's a little bit precarious. A crescent wrench and a screwdriver. So that's what I'll be using. So first things first, I'm just gonna loosen the bolt here so I can adjust the angle. Sorry for the camera being all jiggly, but I have to set it on the chicken wire here. Okay, so the angle is 5.8. So all I have to do with my easy measuring tool, I just set it on there and then adjust it until it says 5.8. Okay, there it is. So now we're just gonna tighten it. And this solar panel, not only is it at the right angle, it is also facing due south. You must do both of these things for the solar panel to operate at maximum charging efficiency. Okay, nice and tight, that's not gonna move. I also, since I'm up here, I should clean the panel. I can see that there's a lot of dust and dirt on it. That's gonna reduce the photovoltaic efficiency as well. Um, I'll just go get a paper towel and I'm gonna wipe this off and then done. And we just need to do that four times a year. It's especially important in the winter. 
Now I just wanted to say one more thing about the solar panel. It's really, really important that you face your panel due south, especially in the winter. Um, when I originally set this panel up, I didn't have it up on that beam like that. It was just resting directly on top of the coop's run right here on this corner. And I didn't have it facing due south, and I didn't have an angle finder at that time, so I just guessed. And that did not work. What ended up happening is the solar panel could not charge the battery. So I quickly realized I had to do that. And I got the angle finder, and then I used just a GPS app on my phone to find due south. I faced the panel due south and then adjusted the, to the correct winter angle. And lo and behold, the, the charge worked perfectly every time throughout the entire winter. So yeah, I just really want to emphasize that it does matter, the angle, and it does matter that you're facing due south.